Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com. In my video today, I just want to talk about screws, uh, the type, different types of screws, threads, the drives, the heads, and even some sizes. Just some basic uh, DIY knowledge about screws. So I've got a bit of a lineup here of a few different types of screws, um, kind of starting from right to, to left. We've got uh, a stainless steel screw. Okay, so it might be something that you use outside or uh, in a shower, that sort of thing. So this one's stainless steel. This screw here is a, a metal roofing screw. So it's got a rubber washer on here. And uh, this particular one is for going into uh, wood. So screwing a metal uh, sheet onto wood. Okay, and uh, here we've got a truss head screw or uh, a pocket screw. So it's kind of got a larger washer all pre-attached to it for good holding power so it doesn't pull through uh, the material you're attaching. Uh, so that'd be usually wood or that sort of thing. Uh, here we've got a, uh, well, it'd be a, this is a brand name, Tapcon. Uh, we're not sponsored by them or anything. Um, but this would be a concrete screw, so you would pre-hold or pre-drill a appropriate sized hole through the material you're trying to fasten and into the concrete, and then uh, thread this into place. So it's got pretty aggressive threads, but they're pretty sharp, and they thread right into to, uh, concrete. Right here, we've got a what's getting to be very common uh, structural type screw. So it's a very heavy shank, really coarse threads. Again, quite a big head on it to re, uh, reduce the amount of pull through that you might get. And uh, a good, uh, you know, it doesn't shear off or snap off easily. So that's a structural screw. Again, that'd be normally used in wood. This here is a, a finishing screw or a headless screw. So for doing some, uh, if you want to do some trim work where you want to use screws, it's got a very small head. Uh, which is easier to fill that little hole, uh, hole in, uh, in it afterwards. Uh, here we've got a common deck screw. So uh, these, this is some of the first screws that came out, kind of called deck screws. Just uh, got a bit of a coating on it that uh, is okay in most woods except for pressure treated lumber. If you were going to use pressure treated lumber then these next two screws uh, would be screws you'd want to choose either these or a stainless steel screw but these ones have a, a coating on them that uh, isn't affected by the uh, chemicals used to pressure treat lumber so they're ACQ uh, approved so they can be used in pressure treated lumber this one here uh, I don't think this one's actually ACQ approved but again it's just a little smaller gauge screw that could be used outdoors Here's a typical drywall screw. So this is a coarse threaded one. That's a typical length for standard half inch drywall applications. And over here, a lot of people don't think of these as screws, but this is actually a machine screw. Uh, a lot of people think of it as a bolt, but it's, it's really a machine screw. So this, this type of uh, screw would uh, be turned into either a nut or a, a threaded hole. Uh, usually in in metal, but it could be used to clamp piece two pieces of wood together too. So, so those are kind of your type. Quite a few of the more common types of screws that you're going to see as a DIYer. Uh, another kind of common type. I should have this one out here. Here's just a plain old zinc wood screw. Okay, so for some interior work or whatever, that'd be perfectly fine. If you're going to use it outside, uh, you need a screw outside, then you'd want to go to a deck screw or one of these ACQ approved coating screws. Okay, um, now threads. When we talk about threads, you basically have a fine thread. Actually, this is a good example. These, these two drywall screws here. You have a fine thread right here. So they're just a lot more closely uh, spaced together as opposed to this coarse thread one where they're a little further apart. So in, a, in the drywall world, uh, this fine thread screw would be used uh, if you're attaching drywall to metal studs, for example, where this one would be used if you're attaching it to wood. Um, 
Other places uh, where fine or coarse threaded screws might make a difference is if you're doing some kind of woodworking project, usually, a, or any kind of project, usually you want to use a fine thread screw, wood screw or whatever, um, into hardwood or uh, into metal, where the coarser thread screws would be softwoods or uh, plywoods, for example. Okay, so that's kind of your threads. Um, yeah, okay. So you'll find uh, quite a variance of different drives that need to be used. So that is, that is the type of head that they have as far as the driver you need to, to drive that, that uh, particular screw in. So I'm from Canada and uh, typically speaking in Canada, our most common screw head or drive is uh, the Robertson. Okay, now this is much like the square drive that you guys will have in the US, uh, but it's better. Uh, it's, the Robertson head has a little bit more of a taper to it, which grips the screw better. Uh, I find a lot of times with square drive drivers and screws, you'll put the screw on your drill and turn around to put it wherever you're gonna do it and the screw falls off. It doesn't, just doesn't grip on there, where Robertson is, is shaped a little differently and uh, it kind of fits on there tighter and doesn't fall off your driver as easy. So uh, that would be a Robertson or a square drive. Over here we've got, can you see that? We've got a Phillips, so it's kind of a X-shaped drive. So that's, that would be called the Phillips drive. Here we've got what I'd say is the most dangerous drive of all and should be outlawed in my opinion, is the slotted drive. So you're gonna be using a slotted screwdriver. Um, if, you're, if you're actually trying to drive a wood screw in with a slotted screwdriver, there is a very, very good chance that your screwdriver is going to slip out of that little slot, damage the work that you're, or the, you know, the, the product you're trying to screw into, or stab yourself <laughs> in the finger. So uh, slotted screws, I generally, if I come across them uh, in a project, like I'm taking something apart, I throw them away because I just won't use them. Um, and in fact, I had a hard time finding a screw to use as, as, as an example with a slotted head in it uh, the other day when I was looking around because I didn't, I just don't keep them. So, um, so slotted Phillips, Robertson or square drive. This is just another size of Robertson or square drive. Most of these uh, heads will all come in or drivers will all come in three different sizes. Um, this one here being a number two or a number eight, uh, si or sorry, a number two or a red Robertson is the most common size you're gonna use in deck screws and that sort of thing. Uh, what do we got here? So here we have a bit of a combination. Uh, you could drive this with either a Phillips or a Robertson or a square drive with this particular one. Uh, I think I skipped over this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So this, this one's a Torx. This is probably the best drive that you can get. So this, this is a very positive lock when you put that driver in there. There's no slipping, no stripping. Uh, these ones, more and more screws are coming out with that. So uh, yeah, the tor torque head style. Uh, what do we got here? Again, this is another combination one. So it's a Phillips and a Robertson uh, type head put together. Uh, so this one here is a hex drive. So you'd be using like a nut driver or a, that sort of thing to fit the head that's on there. Again, that's actually a really good head as well, uh, but you typically won't see it on a, a smaller screw like this. It'll typically be on some more of a specialty screw. Uh, there we've got a Phillips again and a Robertson again. So those are kind of the main, the, uh, main drive types that you're gonna come across, okay? Now, as far as the head style, and what I'm talking about there is, for instance, on this screw, this is a flat head, obviously. It's really flat on the, on the uh, top, and it's got a little bit of a taper on the bottom, okay? So these will drive in, they'll drive in nice and flush to whatever you're doing, or you can even drive them countersunk into your wood. Um, that head and this head are very similar. They're both flat, but this one's more of a bugle shape that you'll find on a, on a drywall screw. So it's, not, it's got a little less taper in here. It's a little more gradual. 
and uh, it draws in nice and flat on drywall just below the surface but without ripping the tape on drywall so it's specifically designed for that okay so we've got that uh, again we talked a little bit about this already this head here uh, so you've got your it's it's actually got a little bit of a dome or a, a pan head on the top but it's got this large surface on the back side kind of like a built-in washer to help draw your whatever you're screwing down to the other piece draw it down tight without pulling through the wood too easily uh, again this one's the same we talked about this one earlier this one uh, this hex drive nuts got an extra little piece here which is actually a washer a little piece of metal with a rubber washer and that's so it makes a seal when it's used on metal siding or roofing here's a round head or pan head screw so you can see it's got a little bit of a dome shape but a nice flat surface on the back so when it's screwed into the wood this part here is protruding above the surface of whatever you're screwing into but yet it's got a good flat back to hold down tight uh, this this one again is a bit of a is a round head too it's a little more predominant than that one but basically the same function really flat on the back so those those are your basic head types that you're going to find uh, here here's actually another this is a little bit similar to uh, the drywall screw with the a little more of a bugle shape on the back but this one here has can still be so the the difference between this and this is this one can still be driven in pretty much flush or just below the surface of the material you're screwing into uh, for instance on uh, deck stair treads where you want some screws maybe to hold the wood down to a metal stringer this drives in nice and flush to the top doesn't stick up and isn't hard on the feet where this one doesn't it's got that little bit of a bulge that would stick up there okay so that's those ones. Uh, then the other other thing to just touch on before we wrap up is uh, different sizes of screws. So I don't know about all around the world, but in America, Canada, and the U.S., basically be a, a number sizing system. So uh, the numbers, the smaller the number, like a number four, which is what this screw would be, uh, is smaller than a number six, which is what that one would be. Okay, and then you go to say a number eight, and we're we're just, we're not talking about the length at all, because obviously those are different too. We're talking about the actual shank diameter, so the actual overall diameter of the thread. Uh, so right here we'd have uh, four, six, eight. Uh, this one here is probably a ten, I would guess, and uh, but basically they'll go right from I, I'm not even sure, like a number three probably to. Uh, 14 something like that so they just increase in in diameter as far as the shaft goes shaft here <coughs> okay so that's the sizes uh, deciding what size you need for most cases in construction you're going to be using a number eight likely uh, if you're going to be maybe screwing some hinges on or some some fine little work then you're going to need a little bit smaller screw right now some screws will have different points so I don't know if you can make this out can you see this little little split in the point there which right there. can you kind of see that little split looks like a little kind of looks like a flu a flute in a drill bit or something like that I don't know if any of these show it any better no none of them do well, that little this little split there actually helps with drilling the screw into the wood so as you're turning it in that little split is helping to thread it in and, and create the hole there and clear the the wood chips out so some have that some don't I don't know if that one's any easier to see probably not it's kind of got a little one right here too okay uh, where opposed to this one doesn't have that anywhere right but you can see on this one that the the first few threads are kind of chisel like they they kind of do what that does it just helps helps it thread in there uh, here's one that's self tapping so this this screw here actually is designed to usually hold wood to metal 
So this end here is a drill bit on it. So it'll actually drill its, its own hole through the metal if it's not too thick. And then these threads will actually thread themselves into it. So I, I would say up to, uh, I don't know, maybe up to an eighth of an inch at the most they would work on. Okay, so that's just a little bit about the tips of them and uh, kind of how they work. So I think I covered really all the basics. Uh, it should answer a lot of questions because I know when you go into the hardware store and you get to the fastener or the screw aisle and you look and you've got, you're in a big box store, you can, as far as you can see, there's screws down both sides of the aisle. Um, and it gets a little bit, a uh, little bit, uh, I don't know what the right word is, it overwhelms you a little bit, right? You, you know you're coming in, you wanted to screw to put some deck boards on, but now you see there's a thousand choices down this aisle or more. And uh, now you don't know what to do. And then when you finally find the section that says deck screws, all of a sudden you've got ACQ, you've got uh, just these standard ones. You know, you, you, all of a sudden you've got choices even within that subject. So hopefully this kind of helps you determine a little bit better what kind of screws, what type sizes, uh, that sort of thing that you need for your specific project. Um, so I hope the video helped you out with any questions you had about screws. Please click the thumbs up icon, I'd appreciate that. Uh, click subscribe while you're down there looking for the thumbs up and uh, that will subscribe you directly to our channel. Uh, right after you click that subscribe button, the little bell icon will come up. So if you wanted to be notified anytime we posted something new, click that bell icon and uh, that will allow you to set up notifications to our YouTube account or our channel. Uh, other things you can do, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Um, we always are accepting donations as well to help make these videos and we've got a Patreon account and a PayPal account set up and there's links to all that stuff in the description below the video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.